Please introduce yourself and say what you do. I'm Millie Brody and I'm an actor. Nice. Um, what is your happy place? Um, my happy place, I would say, is the is my house, but also the area around my house. I, I there's like a nature reserve around my house, and for me, it's like really important for me to be in nature. How did this come to be your happy place? Um, it came to be my happy place. I moved here like three years ago, and for ages I've been looking around different houses and different areas um, and someone had said to me like when when you like when you walk into a place you'll just know mm. that it's that it's like the home that you want to live in and I was I always just brushed it off and then I came to my house and I and I was like it's true <laughs> I walked in and I was like yeah this is this feels like home and the area feels like home and and yeah it all kind of slotted in like that nice um what do you do in your happy place? So I uh, every day will go on like a long dog walk um, with Luna, my mm -hmm. little dog, <laughs> and uh, we'll do just like reading. And and I work. I, I find that having a space where I am able to learn lines and work and stuff, I need to I need to kind of feel comfortable to be able to do that. So I just like spread everything out mm -hmm. and have and have like. Yeah, I, I work best in my house. I, I can't do like working in cafes and stuff. I need to be in my house and have everything kind of where I know it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, how do you feel when you are in your happy place? Definitely my happy place has probably seen me in so many different stages of my life. I think, um, I mean, it's seen me through massive changes. Um, some of them have been really difficult times in my life, but it's it's almost like a family member in a way that it's mm. a it's a comfortable place where I feel like I am able to go through different emotions and it's a safe spot. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Um, why do you need a happy place? I think when life can be quite overwhelming at times mm. and in London especially I feel like the pace of London it's so easy to get swept up in mm. um, that sometimes just having a place to come back to yourself and just to come back to reality a bit and put everything in perspective for me that's like going for a walk in nature when I when I get overwhelmed sometimes just going for a walk and just realizing how small you are in comparison to um the world <laughs> uh can can literally bring me back down to earth and you're like okay yes yeah, so that's that's <laughs> why that's my happy place. nice um if you had to describe your happy place in three words what would they be identity mm -hmm. um tranquility nice. and contentment <laughs> nice okay um give us an example of a situation when your happy place made you feel better or more inspired hmm. um i'd say kind of like just just going on what i was saying before that mm -hmm. that for me going out in nature because i'd always i'd grown up in nature and so for me going being around that just brings me back to a sense of self that yeah. I can so often it, the pace of London and work and everything can can take you away from your essence of being you that that yeah. um, it brings me back to that just going for a walk and, and being being around trees and grass <laughs> yeah nature <laughs> nice okay last question um, for so many reasons 2020 has been such a tough year how important is it to build up your emotional resilience and how can we do that? Um, I think actually for me this year has kind of shown me that, that for me anyway, resilience isn't always the answer. I've often struggled with being vulnerable and I think that, that being locked in this year kind of showed that you that you can't just run away from feelings and so being able to be open about my feelings and be open with my vulnerability and to try and actually not be so resilient mm -hmm. um, has has just been like 
yeah, it's been a massive, a massive learning curve for me. Um, that actually you don't have to, that I don't have to always have this, this like strong exterior up. That it is okay to just be like, I'm struggling and this is really hard and this is a really weird time for everyone. Um, so yeah, I'd say th this isn't really answering your question, but I would say yeah, that no. 2020 for me has definitely um, been me learning to be vulnerable. Learning, yeah, learning to be vulnerable. Perfect.